If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 17 video. And guys, today what we're going to be taking a look at are the top five middle linebackers to start the 2017 Madden season. So guys, again, these are not their ultimate team ratings, so keep that in mind. Again, their base elite players might fall roughly in line with this, but we don't know for sure on that. These are the attributes that they're going to have kind of in your, your franchise mode, your head-to-head -head games, things like that. So, again, don't worry about their MUT ratings at this point. When we get that information, we'll try and put that out as well. But for the time being, guys, I want to take a look at these top five middle linebackers because, again, middle linebacker is a position that a lot of people user control. That's It's the position that I typically user control on defense unless I'm blitzing my middle linebacker or something like that where I don't want to user control him. I mean, to me, again, this is really one of the most important positions on the defensive side of the football. So what we're going to do, guys, is count down the top five guys, and we're going to start off at number five, and we have the New England Patriots' Jamie Collins. Now, this is kind of an interesting one because Jamie Collins was listed as an outside linebacker in Madden last year. So he is making the position change this year, and he's moving over to the middle linebacker position for the Patriots in the game. And, I mean, obviously, I think that... Jamie Collins is going to be a good player to, to user control. I mean, you look at the attributes that he's got here, 85 speed, 92 tackling, 96 jumping. That's kind of impressive. 93 for a power move, 91 for pursuit. Guys, he's also six foot three, which is an important thing to keep in mind for coverage. And he's always one of those linebackers that has good coverage attributes. Like if you go back and you take a look at his team of the year mutt card from last year, I still use that thing on my team now. I mean, the coverage attributes that that card has in comparison to the other ones that are even anywhere near its price range are crazy. So I definitely like Jamie Collins. He's a fun player to use, and uh, I'm I'm interested to see kind of what they end up doing with the uh, the New England Patriots linebackers here all, all over the place because you look at the middle linebackers and you look at the outside linebackers that they've put out. And damn, they look pretty good. So hopefully uh, hopefully the Patriots have a good defense this year. I think a lot of people are going to be using them in head-to-head -head and things like that. So uh, with that being said, let's move on to number four. And we have a Seattle Seahawks linebacker, another player playing for a team that is going to be really hard to stop in Madden. And again, that is Bobby Wagner. Beast of a player. We all know this. I mean, Bobby Wagner is one of those guys who is probably one of the most fun players to user control for them from the middle linebacker position, maybe other than like a Ryan Shazier or a Dion Buchanan. I mean, other than them, I, I think maybe other than one other player that we'll get to on this list, I think Bobby Wagner is probably the most fun player to user control. 88 speed, 88 acceleration as well. So he is extraordinarily quick for a linebacker. I believe he's the fastest of all the linebackers that are, that are on this list. Yeah, he is. So uh, definitely the fastest linebacker of the uh, of the guys on this top five list anyways. It says that he's actually going to be one of the fastest linebackers in the game. There might be somebody, maybe like I said, like a Shazier or somebody like that that is a little bit quicker. But you combine everything that Bobby Wagner does the uh, the speed and the acceleration along with the 92 tackling, the 92 jumping, and the 91 pursuit. You're talking about a really, really nice player. Whether you're user controlling him or not, he's going to do a great job for you. So let's move on now to number three. And we have a guy who I'm, I'm a little bit surprised to see him as high as he is. But, I mean, Derek Johnson is a, is a great player. I mean, you can't deny that. Kansas City Chiefs, he is 90 overall. And he has some nice attributes here. However, the one thing that stands out as something that is not great about him, 81 speed. Now, don't get me wrong. 81 speed is not horrendous by any means, but it's not the best. Um, it's it's good enough that he's going to be able to keep up with most tight ends. But if he goes up against a Ladarius Green or, um, you know, obviously a Gronkowski or a Jimmy Graham, guys like this that are a little bit quicker, he's going to have a tough time in coverage, even though he does have an 87 for zone coverage. It's just going to be tough for him to keep up. So I, I don't like the, the 81 speed. Hopefully he'll get a little bit of a boost over the, the season, but... I wouldn't really count on it because, I mean, he's getting older now. I mean, earlier in his career, he was definitely one of the faster linebackers. I remember always selecting him in Madden back in the day because he was just one of the fastest guys at his position. But now he's been in the league for so long, his speed's definitely not where it once was. But he does have some nice attributes to make up for it. 
So if you're somebody that doesn't like to use or control their middle linebacker, I actually think Derek Johnson is going to be a good option for you because he's got 81 speed, like I said, and the 70 or the 87 for zone coverage, which are, are not great attributes. I mean, the 87 zone coverage, I should say, is a great attribute for a middle linebacker, but uh, the 81 zone is not great. However, he does have three attributes in the middle there. Awareness, pursuit, and play recognition that are all elite. 96 for awareness, 94 for pursuit, and then 96 for play recognition. So those three attributes are kind of three of the most important things that the computer itself uses when it's controlling the player. So Derek Johnson, despite the fact that he might not be the best player to user control, he's definitely one that you don't have to think quite as much about when he's on the field if you're not user controlling him. And that's always a nice thing to have as well. Now on to number two, and we have the Denver Broncos, Brandon Marshall. If you guys haven't noticed, most of the defenses uh, that are great in the NFL have a player that's represented in these top five lists. Not surprising if you really think about it. I mean, it, it's just kind of the way that it is. So Brandon Marshall, 90 overall, 85 speed, 87 acceleration. Good enough, not amazing, but definitely good enough to be uh, a player that you can use your control, or he can, you know, keep up with line, or he can uh, keep up with tight ends, running backs out of the backfield, things like that. As a linebacker, eighty-one zone coverage is a little bit low, but it's not horrible. And uh, the other thing that I do like about this card is that he also still has nice pursuit and play recognition. So he's a guy that you can either use your control or not use your control if you want to and still get some good production out of. So uh, definitely nice on the Brandon Marshall side of things. This is not the wide receiver Brandon Marshall, by the way. I know a lot of people have heard of Brandon Marshall, the wide receiver, who did not make the top five list. And for whatever reason, a lot of people haven't heard of Brandon Marshall, the linebacker, who is a very, very good player. I don't know if he's the second best middle linebacker in the league, but uh, definitely worthy of being in the conversation anyway. Now, we're going to move on to the number one middle linebacker in Madden 17, and this one should not come as any surprise whatsoever. It's Luke Keekley of the Carolina Panthers. Now, Luke Keekley is 99 overall. The next closest middle linebacker, as we just saw, is Brandon Marshall at a 90 overall, and Derek Johnson at a 90 overall as well. Below that, we've got Bobby Wagner and Jamie Collins, obviously, at an 88 overall. So if you look at the difference between Luke Keekley and the fourth best middle linebacker, we're talking about 11 overall attribute difference. That is ridiculous. That is really, really ridiculous. Now, granted, Luke Keekley is a freaking monster, and I don't really, honestly, I don't have a problem with him being 99 overall, but man, that is a huge gap between him and the rest of the field. So you take a look at these attributes individually now, 86 speed, 93 for a block shed, 98 for pursuit, 98 for play rec, and an 89 for zone coverage. Keekly is like the stereotypical do whatever you want with him type of player on defense. I mean, seriously, 89 zone coverage, that is crazy, crazy high. And you take a look at the other attributes he's got here. I mean, the play recognition, the pursuit, his awareness, we don't have it on here. But you have to imagine it's going to be ridiculously high as well. So he's a guy that you don't even have to think about if you're not user controlling him. He's going to be great for you. And if you are user controlling him, he still has the speed. He still has block shedding. He's still going to have things like strength. I mean, he's going to have a lot of attributes that make him the best linebacker at this position. So, again... Luke Keekley, definitely the best middle linebacker in the game, and uh, I think he's worthy of being a 99 overall, but I want to hear from you guys. There are definitely some players that I think should have been in this top five and missed out for whatever reason. So I want you guys to let me know in the comments section below who should be in the top five that isn't and which one of these guys that is in the top five should be taken out so that your guy can go win. Let me know in the comments section below, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor, drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will talk to you guys again soon.